Hey guys, at BV Manson here, working our way through the exhaust. I've got this all done. This is ready to go back on the bike, but I am still working through the main header pipe and uh, main muffler. And uh, there's a couple little trouble spots that I'm seeing that are gonna need to be addressed. So I wanna kind of walk through some of that. Um, and also, just to follow up on the previous video where we did a bunch of aluminum foil testing, um, what I'm really finding is, is that the aluminum foil and water works great to do kind of a first pass at it and knock out kind of some of the big heavy stuff. But then I'm telling you guys, there is just something magical about WD-40. WD-40 <laughs> knocks a ton of this stuff out as well. So WD-40 and some, I wish I had some uh, 4 steel wool. I have triple O. I'm just working with the triple O because that's what I've got. But WD-40 and steel wool work amazing. And also WD-40 and small brass brushes on a Dremel work amazingly well. Now, in a previous video, I told you that these things are garbage. I bought these... I believe I got them on Amazon, and uh, I think I got like 50 of them for like 20 bucks or something like that. They're really, really inexpensive, but man, are they doing a bang up job in being able to get into some of these little areas. Um, really looking forward to wiping off all this residue that I've knocked off this morning and, uh, you know, give this thing a final polish. One warning on these, though, guys, wear, <laughs> wear safety goggles for sure because I don't know if you can see it on the table here. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It shoots out these little brass, <laughs> brass, uh, you know, spindles all over the place. They get all over your shirt. And what I just realized is that they fly into your coffee as well. So you don't want to be ingesting these things. Wear safety goggles and be careful. They do deteriorate pretty fast. I mean, maybe you get five, 10 minutes out of one of these. Uh, but they do deteriorate, uh, but they do a great job. And ultimately, right now, I'm just doing WD-40 and going around with my Dremel and cleaning all of this stuff up. So again, the steps, aluminum foil and water, do a nice big pass on everything to knock the heavy stuff out. WD-40 and steel wool to do some of the larger areas. And then the trouble spots, these things are a lifesaver. I mean, they're just cleaning stuff up really, really, really well. Now on this exhaust system, I wanna grab my tripod and show you this. Uh, we got a couple little trouble spots that I've discovered here. You can see one of them right here, kind of chipping away. That's no good. And then we've got kind of a bigger hole uh, developing on the other side. So let's see if we can address that in today's video. All right, and here's one of my trouble spots. See if I can give you a good look at this, but I do have a pretty nice rust spot starting on this. It doesn't feel like it's all the way through. Um, so what I've done is I've actually just cleaned the hell out of it with my Dremel, uh, trying to get in, you know, really as deep as I possibly can into all of these different crevasses. And then I think what I'm gonna do, cause I really wanna get this on the bike. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna treat this with navel jelly, all right? So this is a rust dissolver. And then what I'll do is I'll use like a, a Rust-Oleum or a rust preventative spray um, over some of these trouble spots. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I've actually only used this a couple times in the past. I used it on a, on a car fender actually. And if you do the prep well, um, it can do a really good job of preventing that rust or cleaning that rust, dissolving the rust so that you can actually protect this in the future. So let's apply some navel jelly um, to this trouble spot and uh, see if we can knock out some of this rust. All right, just kind of probing here with my dental pick. I'm just gonna pick away any kind of looseness that I'm seeing here. Again, it, it feels pretty solid. Um, it doesn't feel like it's all the way through. I don't see any like major holes developing, but it's definitely through this portion. And I can just kind of scrape, scrape, scrape all day long on this. You can see the material. Hopefully you can kind of see the material kind of falling right off of this. Now I don't want to go too deep. Okay, I don't want to get crazy today because if I pop a hole through here, that's going to be a whole other problem and we're not gonna get this exhaust hung today. So let's see what we can do with the navel jelly. Now I don't have a paintbrush, I should have a little paintbrush. So I'm just gonna use just a little bit of steel wool and use gloves with this stuff. 
but just dab this stuff on there. Give it a nice thick coat of navel jelly. And according to the directions, we let this sit for about 10 minutes. All right, so let it, let it do its work. And then after 10 minutes, we come back and we rinse this with fresh water, okay? So I'm gonna apply this. I'm gonna put a nice big thick coat on it. Make sure it's getting in and under every little spot um, on this little hole. Then we'll come back and clean it up. All right, we're back. This has been sitting for about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna grab my spray bottle and hit this with some fresh water. Make sure you knock out all that solution. And it does look like it's cleaned up pretty good. Let's hit it with the Dremel here, clean it up a little bit more. There's still some more rust on there. So in the directions, it does say if rust still persists, hit it again. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna change gears to a little bit coarser um, brush so that I can really get down in here and start cleaning the hell out of it and then hit it again with some navel jelly. Ultimately, the goal is to get it down to bare metal. All right, we got that cleaned up pretty good. Um, the, you know, the deeper you go, the more that gets revealed. So it definitely does look like this is a little bit of a problem spot. Again, I don't see it going all the way through. So let's give this another treatment of navel jelly and let this stuff do its work. Again, be super liberal when you're putting this on. Make sure you're kind of pushing it down into any crevasses. Um, that are back behind there, but uh, people swear by this stuff. A lot of comments have come in saying, why don't you just use navel jelly? So we're giving it a whirl today, okay? That's what we're doing. And hopefully this is gonna protect this exhaust system enough as we kind of move through this process. The, the goal today, guys, is honestly to get this exhaust system on the bike. And I still have quite a bit of polishing to do on this part, but I don't wanna do anything until I know what I've got going on here. So uh, let's give this another 10 minutes. All right, back at it. Let's knock the water. Clean this stuff off of here. Just like that. It's splattering around a little bit, but I ain't too worried about it. It actually looks pretty good. I think that's probably about as good as I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna hit it a little bit more with the Dremel just to clean it up. And then I think what I'm gonna do just for kind of a, a fix, I'm gonna do high heat VHT primer and then a little bit of VHT engine enamel as well. I was, cause remember I was gonna paint that engine. Uh, I never did end up doing that because it came out so good all by itself. Um, but yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna spot hit this. I'm gonna clean it up really good one more time. See if I can get down just a little bit more. I may change over to a little bit more of a grinding bit um, that I can kind of really get in here, clean this off, scuff this all up. And then we can paint it and uh, kind of move on with our day, hopefully. Yeah, and it just seems the further I go, the more rust there is. So I, I definitely am going to pump the brake here just a little bit and just try to minimize damage. All right, I think I'm kind of getting really cautious of going any deeper on this. Still getting just a little bit of rust coming out of here. There's one spot in particular that I can see it kind of creating a little bit of a cavity. And, <clears throat> you know, honestly, guys, I think I can run it the way it is. And uh, maybe my long-term plan would be this winter would be to pull this exhaust off and then get this to a capable welder to actually, you know, properly, you know, weld this up, cut this out and fix this piece. But, uh, you know, I'm hell bent on getting this bike on the road. Um, I want to take a spin <laughs> on this bike and I'm actually a little concerned that I might be doing more damage been good right now because I'm just kind of breaking away at this. I, I, I don't know if that is the case. I've got a couple little sharp edges here. So I just kind of knock that down. So I think, again, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little spritz of uh, engine primer. I'm gonna shake this up good. Remember guys, always shake your paint. This is covered up by that ornamental piece anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, and I am going to just do a quick spritz on this now that it's nice and clean. Wait, what is this? Yeah, this is primer. What's going on here? There we go. There, I'm just gonna do that. Put a nice thick coat. Boy, that stuff comes out fast. Woo! All right, anyway, we'll do that. We'll let this sit, and then what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll hit it with just kind of this aluminum color, and I think um, that's gonna be 
good for now. I'm just going to kind of leave it. I'm going to try to seal the air uh, out of this thing right now so it doesn't rust crazily. But again, long term, I think I'm going to have to take this in to get this welded. This this whole pipe, if you remember, has been, you know, really patched up. So you never know until you really start diving into something. So I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to scuff it up. I'll hit it one more time with primer and I'll hit it with some silver. Um, and I think we'll be good to go. And then I can continue polishing and get the show on the road. All right, we got our primer nice and dry. Um, let's move on over and just give this a quick little spritz here of the aluminum color so it doesn't stand out quite so bad. And then I can come in, I'll clean up all the overspray there. Of course, because you guys know, I am the overspray master. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, uh, that, it's kind of fun to see this paint because uh, I never did use it on that engine. And uh, boy, it's really sparkly. Kind of a cool, cool paint. So uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry really, really well. And then, you know what, I found this. I remembered that I had this little uh, kind of smokestack uh, for a fireplace or a little camp stove. And there was this flue tape that it came with. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a small patch to maybe lay over this. I don't think it could hurt anything. I mean, if it comes off, it comes off. It's not really a big deal. But again, I think, you know, anything I can do to kind of seal that up is gonna be helpful. And again, I'm gonna focus on, you know, this being a winter repair project. Um, this is probably one of the most shoddy, uh, you know, pieces of, uh, of restoration that I've done here. Um, but guys, I'm getting antsy. I'm getting real antsy uh, to keep going. So um, yeah, let this dry. We'll clean this up. We'll finish this pipe. We'll get to reassembling the entire unit, and then uh, we can go back outside where it's like 92 degrees and uh, get this thing put on the bike, hopefully today. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, there we go. There's a, I cleaned up the pipe here just a little bit, so uh, that'll be a nice clean line. Um, and also just clean this up as good as I possibly could, painted it, treated it, so hopefully we protect it. Um, it's definitely going to need to be repaired in the future, but overall, I'm satisfied with it. Next step, let's just finish this exhaust system. I don't think I'm going to mess around with the high temperature tape. I think I'll just hold off on it. Now, if it develops a hole or something, I think that might work as a quick fix. I, I, I have no idea. Um, again, this is the first time me div diving in to uh, one of these exhaust systems, but guys, we are so close. All of that is done and ready to go, and I just need to work this last section. I tell you, this is a cumbersome piece. Why they welded this and made this all one piece, I have no freaking clue. It would be so convenient if the connection was here, just like it is on that muffler there. I mean, it's all welded one piece. So that's definitely taken a little bit of time, but this is my mission. This is my mission today, and I have chosen to accept it. And uh, yeah, let's just keep on going. So guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Um, if you got tips or suggestions on how to fix this, please let me know in the comments. I'm just really hesitant of going too far. I know it's a real shoddy job, okay? I get that. Um, you know, <laughs> it is what it is at, at this point, to be honest. So if you like the videos, please subscribe. Also thumbs up those videos that you enjoy. Also, be sure to check out the links in the description. If you want to pick up some parts and support the channel, uh, that'd be really, really appreciated. Um, but yeah, other than that, look at this. It's coming together, guys. We're getting real close. We'll see you in the next video.